Hello guys, so in this video we will be going to see how we can attach a domain name with AWS API Gateway. Okay, so till now what I have done, I have deployed an API uh, uh, like uh, and uh, backend has been served from the AWS Lambda and created a stage with name dev. Okay, so if I just copy this invoke URL and hit enter, so now you can see I would be able to get response like a status code as 200 and body as hello from Lambda. Okay. So now we will see how we can access this API on a domain name like api.awsmasterchef.in Okay, so first what we have to do, I am assuming you already have a domain name on GoDaddy and you wanted to attach it. Okay, so as in first step, you have to go on, go on to the AWS console and search for the route 53 service. Inside the route 53 service, you have to, sorry, my bad, you have to click, click on hosted zone. And then after inside the hosted zone, you have to create a new hosted zone. Okay, so make then after you have to enter the domain name. Domain name would be same as the domain name that uh, with which you wanted to attach the API. So it would be the root domain name only. So let's say you wanted to attach api.awsmasterchef.in is still the hosted zone name would be awsmasterchef.in only. Okay. So once uh, you enter the domain name, description is optional. Then after keep the type as public hosted zone and then after create, click on create hosted zone. Okay. Once you click on this hosted zone, a hosted zone would be created. So I have already created this. The reason being is it would be going to take uh, some time to update those configurations. So I will, I have already created this. So once you're done with creation, you would be able to see a record would be there with type NS, which is basically name servers. Okay, so you have what you have to do, you have to copy those individual four values in like just exclude dot at the last and then after you have to come on to the GoDaddy portal, go inside the DNS, inside the name servers and click on change name servers. Okay, so once you click on this, yeah, the first option would be selected by default for you GoDaddy name servers. What you have to do, you have to click on I will use my own name servers and enter those four values. Okay, without dot at the last. And once you are done, click on save button. Okay. Once you're done it, this configuration will take six, six hours at least. And after that, this, this configuration would be updated successfully at least six hours usually takes. Okay. So by updating this name servers, we are telling AWS, sorry, by uh, uh, updating this name server, we are telling GoDaddy domain. Whenever a request comes to AWS masterchef.in, you have to redirect that request to AWS hosted zone and this hosted zone will decide where I have to redirect this request. Okay. So that's the first part of the problem. Then after the second step, what we have to do, you have to click, go to the API gateway. Then after go back to APIs, then after you have to click on custom domain names. Okay. Inside the custom domain names, you have to create a domain name. So let's say I wanted to attach with API dot uh, AWS master dot in. Okay. So you have to just type the domain name. So it would be subdomain basically. The domain would be AWS masterchef.in and sub is like by adding API dot. Okay. So keep the all the configuration as default. Then after it is asking for ACM certificate. Okay. So basically to make request on HTTPS, you need a certificate. Okay. And certificate you would be getting through the certificate manager, AWS certificate manager basically. Okay. So you have to click on create a new certificate. Go here. So I all, although I already have a certificate here, but what I will do, I will create a new certificate. Okay. So just make, make a note of it. I already have the certificate with name CF, but I am creating a new certificate. Okay. So just click on request a new certificate, request a public certificate, click on next. It is asking for the domain name. Okay. So I will enter AWS master dot in and the another one would be star dot AWS master dot in. Okay. So this, this would work for API dot AWS master dot in. Okay. So if, if I am not at this star dot, it will not going to work for that API dot. Okay. So what we have to do, I think we have added the domain name. Then after inside the validation method, keep the uh, settings as uh, DNS validations only. And then after keep all the configuration default. Okay. Then after requesting it. So now you can see as of now the status is pending validations. Okay. So for verifying this, what we have to do, we have to create those two records inside the route 53. So basically I have to click on it. Just that's it. So I, I will click on it. Then after I will, it will like, it will like just give me an option uh, to create DNS record in Amazon route 53. So 
so i will click on create records okay so not sure why it is not clickable okay i will go back once i will click on create route 53 and then after i will click on create route okay so now it is done okay so i will back come back here i think it will take a little time not more than i think five minutes or ten minutes but it should get this uh, validation as successful uh, in a meanwhile okay so wh uh, while it is like uh, status is getting approved what we will do we will go back here and choose a certificate okay so what we will do we will just choose this certificate uh, so the cf1 is older one what i will do i will just choose a new one okay so i will choose this as new one sorry why i'm not able to i think So I okay. So this is this has been selected. Somehow it is not showing the uh, selection. Uh, yeah. So now it has selected. I will click on create domain name. Okay. So now we can see we are able then with the domain name creation here inside the API gateway uh, console. Okay. Then after what we have to do, we have to come inside the API mappings. Click on configure API mappings. Click on add new mapping. Select the API gateway. So the API gateway name is backend API stage would be the dev one for me and then after click on save okay so this configuration will take at least i think not more than five minutes so uh i mean like this this is this is saved now so now as in third step or maybe the fourth step uh what we have to do we have to again go back to route 53 and we have to click a create a new record okay so create a new record we will type api the record name as api so the domain name for us would be api.awsmasterchef.in so basically we are creating a record for this entry make sure the record type as a so basically by uh, telling record type as a we are telling like we wanted to uh, route this traffic to some aws resources okay inside the endpoint choose api gateway and choose reason so for me the u reason is us east one you can select the reason of your choice and then after choose endpoint as this one only okay so i will i will show this endpoint okay here it is the configurations and it is starting with d hyphen bm okay so d hyphen bm right so once done we will be going to create record so view status so status is as of now pending so uh, meanwhile i will verify this status so now you can see this pending verification to the uh, this certificate has been issued successfully once we once we have this record as in sync state so we will we will be able to access this uh, api on aws masterchef.in as well okay so meanwhile what i will do i will just rest reiterate the process so first step what we have done we have created a new hosted zone second step we have copied the hosted zone name servers to the godaddy domain name as in third step we have created the custom domain name on the uh, api gateway console and inside that we have to we needed a certificate so that's the reason we have created we have requested a certificate from acm aws certificate manager and once that is done we have created an api mapping and uh, uh, after that we have uh, created a new record inside the hosted zone okay so that's it so now it is in sync so what we will do i will just edit this go going to edit this url so api dot master chef sorry aws master chef dot in chef dot in yeah it is started to work somehow you would not be able to see that so now you can see the apis are accessible on api dot aws master chef dot in okay so basically to any path like as of now the only api is on slash path so it is accessible but if like, let's say you have thousands of the apis all the apis would have started to work on your domain name okay so this is how you can attach a domain name with your uh, api gateway okay so that's it for this video if you have any queries comment or feedback for me do post it down in the comment section and keep subscribed to the channel thank you